Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A32 with the June update and make sure you stay locked in with me. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So Samsung has been releasing updates left and right when it comes to their budget series for the A series, which is one of the reasons why if you were thinking about getting a smartphone in the budget um, department, you might want to consider Samsung's devices because they're always updating these things. Some of the newer devices are promised like three years of OS updates and stuff like that. And then the security updates obviously last about four years or whatever, but this one actually started out with Android, I wanna say 10, and now it's got Android 12 on here. So I just got a notification on my device, you can see on the back, but I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new to the channel. Um, I wanna encourage you to subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, so, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at this new update for June on the Samsung Galaxy A32. And one of the things I noticed is that this one was on the April update for 2022, but it actually got Android One UI 4.1 before my Samsung Galaxy A12, which is actually on the July update. So even though this one is on the July update, which is further um, out when it comes to security, my A12 never got the Samsung Galaxy um, One UI 4.1 um, update or even the Android 12. So I'm still waiting for it to come to the A12. But I noticed that this one just got released for a new software update and we're gonna take a look at it, but it does fix five critical, um, um, you know what I'm saying, vulnerabilities inside of the software as well. But you can see right here, I paused it because I wanted to show you guys what it said or whatever, but it says that your security on your device has been improved. The software can include, but not limited to device stability and improvements and bug fixes and new or enhanced features, which it pretty much says every single time I get an update. And then it says that you will get the best from your device. So please keep it up to date. So it says right here, you can get the Samsung add-on, no add-ons, kids, notes, internet, health, um, smart things, Google, the Galaxy Shop, the Samsung members, the calculator, and the voice recorder will be all updated. So I'm gonna hit the uh, install button right now. And I hope this thing does get the enhanced processing because my Note 10 that I'm actually recording with right now on the front facing camera got enhanced processing, which makes the apps roll out, um, move quicker or whatever. So I really like that feature, but I'm gonna pause the video right now so you guys don't have to wait through this process. And then we're gonna continue to check out the security for the Samsung Galaxy A32, which is one of my favorite devices. It has an AMOLED display. It has an in-display fingerprint sensor. The camera is really stable. It has a really beautiful camera on there as well. And it just has um, everything. You have the headphone jack. You have a really nice um, body on here. And um, the camera is like a really nice setup. It looks really modern, kind of like the Ultra series from the flagship department of Samsung. But let me just pause the video, wait for this to completely update, and I'm gonna get right back with you. All right guys, so the Samsung Galaxy A32 is booting back on as we speak. And like I just said, I'm, gonna, I'm right back with you, but I wanna remind you, um, I wanna remind you, hit the like button so we could beat the YouTube algorithm. I truly appreciate you for coming through one more time and kicking it with me, right? So let's just go ahead and take a look at this update. Um, and like I said before, this device is extremely, um, extremely good for the price, even after a few years of using it. It's, it's almost a little bit over a year old or whatever. And this is the LTE model, not to be confused with the 5G model, but you know, after using it for so much, so long, it's 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 getting better over time or whatever. And everything that I have been um, seeing with this device, it's just it's got a faster fingerprint sensor. It has pretty much some of the features that you would still use in 2022, like um, you know, which what I'm gonna get into in just a second. But let me wait for these apps to get optimized and stuff like that. 
But um, like I said, uh, really impressive device. Um, it's going to be powerful enough for you to game on it. So it's going to be pretty smooth because it's got the Helio G. It's the MediaTek Helio G80 on here. Um, and it has a new software update with the Android 12 4.1. It's gonna get the 4.1.1 as well, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, um, super AMOLED display. So just a ton of features on here so that you can enjoy four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage as well. And now it's back up. So now we can kind of just check out what this thing is rocking right now when it comes to the new features, but it's got, you know, 15 watts fast charging on, on here, but no wireless charging but you get a 64 megapixel camera on the rear with the eight megapixel wide angle, five megapixel macro and um, four megapixel for the depth. And on the front, it's got the 20 megapixel camera. So I just can't emphasize how crazy this device has been over time. And it's getting started right now. So we're gonna go ahead and check out some new features if it does have any. If it doesn't, it's still cool because this device has been really, really sharp since I've been using it. So let me wait for the UI to actually boot back up to pull full, full peak performance. As you can see, it does say that the system is finishing the update and everything like that. So um, as far as the notification panels, they still look pretty similar to it, how it was before. You could drop down and right here, it has a button where you can actually click to get more info. The You can see I, I was able to get to my music right here if I click here you can actually um, make the notifications not show for a short period of time and um, you also have the side um, navigation right here the edge panel which works a little bit better when I have a case on here because you can see I'm not it's it does work better with a case on there for some reason with the edge panel because it's hard for me to hit that right now but it does have the edge panel. It does say the system is up to date. So let's go ahead and check out some of the new features. It does feel really smooth on here. And it's got 90 uh, hertz. So let me just show you in display. If we go to settings, uh, just show you that this device is extremely smooth. Um, I don't have a screen protector on here and there's barely like any scratches, which I really like. So that's one of the things that I do like about this device is that 90 hertz display. You could get the high smoothness right here or you can go to standard. So it's it's really solid in that department edge panel right here. And you can customize that. It says right here, handle. You could, you could actually adjust some of the customization of it as well, which is something that I really do like. Uh, it's letting me right here mess around with that, uh, vibrate when touched, things of that sort. So just a lot of customization when it comes to the edge panel. Um, as far as the other features inside of display, you get touch sensitivity, accidental touch protection. The navigation bar is, is customizable. I changed the screen timeout to two minutes on here too. And um, let's go into the wallpaper and style and themes. Let's see how many color palettes we get. We still get the five, but um, you know, you could change the backdrop colors to your personal preference. It will take a second to load that up. You get the dynamic wallpapers as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that too because that's one of the features that I really like. I'm gonna hit apply. And um, let's check out the widgets screen right now. And you can see it's that list view. Everything is just moving really fast. We don't have the scrolling widgets, which is one of the features I kind of wish that they did put on here for the update, but that's cool. Um, let's scroll down into the notification panel and see if there's any new features. But just to show you right here, they do add on here with a quick share, link to Windows, hotspot, uh, flashlight, um, smart view, which is really clutch, QR scanner, which is extremely clutch, Dolby Atmos for your Bluetooth and wired headphones. You also do get NFC as well as always on display and music share, which is really cool. Uh, call text and on other devices and kids mode as well as sync and some of the other features right here that they have here is create note so they don't have um, advanced processing which is going to make the phone a little bit snappier but they do have RAM plus which is something that I really do like on all Samsung devices so 
all you would have to do is go into I'm getting a notification right now but all you would have to do is go right here into your um, device care and then when you click the memory option right here you're gonna see the additional features right here for the RAM plus and that it actually gives you you have you start out with six gig uh, four gigabytes and then you add additional four which is like eight uh, advanced features down here and that's the part I wanted to show you and then we'll wrap up the video but this device does have labs which it did have before link to Windows call and other devices text continue apps on other devices motion gestures as well so you could do the lift to wake you could do the double tap to turn on the screen turn off the screen uh, alert when picked up motion um, mute when with gestures and palm swipe to capture which is gonna that palm swipe to capture gesture the swipe to the edge of your uh, phone to take a screenshot actually works pretty good and then you get the game launcher on here too so let me just go into uh, about device and show you what software we're running on so if I go to software information this is rocking the Android 12 with the 4.1 which is extremely clean in my opinion so this is one of my favorite Galaxy devices that I've been using from the series and I'm just a big fan of the A32 but um, this is the June first patch which is basically going to give you 65 uh, security patches which is going to seal your device from all threats and five major threats as well but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful i'm going to get right back which we're going to show up in the comment section answer all your questions but i want to remind you to hit the like button so we could beat the youtube algorithm but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are have a great night later crew peace